all right hello hello everyone welcome 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 how is everyone doing i hope everyone's having a great day or night depending on what time it is for you happy thursday once again if it's friday for you then happy friday today we are continuing more corpse party sweet say chico's hysteric birthday bash we were last playing this last night and the last thing that was happening was um so we went through all the the choices of um that Sachiko made for uh, a play and none of them were good so we had Mayu come up with a uh, a new play and um Sachiko wanted to do a detective play and so we wrote one or she wrote one um we did uh, an audition to see who would play the detective and um uh, so <clears throat> Sachiko got so Chico got the vote to 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 get the part, and now we they also did a rehearsal, <clears throat> and now we are about to get the play actually started, and we're still in chapter two, so yeah, we're yeah still not halfway through the game, but. We're we're finally seeing what uh what this what this uh this play is gonna be like. All right. <clears throat> A sudden and mysterious murder. Eee! Someone has died. Hey Adrian, welcome to the stream. How are you? Welcome. <clears throat> As more and more suspects emerge, a sinister plot begins to brew. <laughs> Good afternoon to you. <laughs> I'm gonna draw in this Japanese history textbook and give beards to all the I'm going yeah, I'm gonna draw in the in his Japanese history textbook and give beards to all the famous people. <laughs> Francisco de Xavier, the top half of his face is lacking hair, while the bottom half has much too much. <laughs> Unsolvable mystery meets insatiable desire. The ghost go was over really early today. Oh, really? That's cool. Hope you had a, a good time at school. I just bought the newest sweet treat from the convenience store. Oh, it looks so good. But how many calories does it have? Why do human beings have to get fat when they eat yummy things? At long last, they seek aid from her. I have to go do something. I just wanted to stop by and say hi. No worries, Adrian. I appreciate you stopping by. I'll see you later. Have a great rest of your day. Hello? Have I successfully reached Spirit World Investigator Sachi's offices? What's that? You don't sell that kind of ramen here. Called the wrong damn number. Dear wife, calm yourself. New style horror mystery, Spirit World Investigator Sachi, coming soon. Oh, I forgot about these guys. Well, she's a good narrator, but the actual things she's narrating leaves leave a lot to be desired. 
It's just pure chaos. Please be advised that the PV you've just witnessed is an image reel. The actual contents of the play may differ completely. So the trailer was pointless? <laughs> That's funny. Our story begins with a daily school routine, the kind you might find anywhere in Japan. But those Halcyon Halcyon, right? Halcyon days of predictable tranquility were about to be thrust into ruin with the scream of a female student. Oh. Someone has someone has died. Oh. That looks really real. Why does it look like act someone actually plunged a knife into Yoshiki's back? <laughs> okay, I even did voice exercises for this. Yet my character doesn't have one single line. I guess that's what Murashige meant when he said I'd be okay without her rehearsing. The other students came on stage one after another upon hearing Nana scream. What was that? Did you say there's a body? A body has been discovered. <laughs> Sorry, wrong game. I know, but. <laughs> what happened, Nana? Nana, are you alright? Huh? Ah! This person is really dead. Who in the world could have done this? First things first. I guess I'll snap some photos for later. Of course, Morishige will be the one that snaps photos. Huh? What? Who the hell thinks of snapping photos as first things first? Of course, if you guys don't remember, Morishige kind of gets a bit... I would say... A bit... Uh... A bit randy when he sees a dead body. And he likes to take pictures of dead bodies. That's why he's acting like that. Kishinuma. Oh. Who could have done such a horrible thing to you? What could have possibly happened? I don't know if that part is even acting for him. Uh, are you a friend of his? Yes. Kishinuma was... My best friend. Damn it all. Who's responsible for this? The body is still warm. He must have been. He must have just been killed. You don't think the killer is still in the school, do you? Oh no. What do we do? Nana, Nari. Nana, Nari, and Chihaya pressed in close to one another and began to quiver. Everyone, please try to stay calm. Stay calm? Monstrous. My best friend has just been killed, and a murderer may yet be on the loose within these very walls. Yes, but carrying on won't change that. Let's 
So how about we instead try one of the school's seven wonders? Seven wonders? Seven wonders? Yes, specifically, she who appears when the school's peace is thrown out of balance, using her superior deductive reasoning to bring villains to justice. The spirit world investigator, Sachi. She... I'm going to need you all to grab this Sachiko proxy doll and pull, tearing it apart. And that will make Sachi appear? Yes. So we just need all to pull on it at once then. Let's do this. One. Two and Nanda What? Everything's gone dark. Dear wife, are you alright? He taking advantage of a moment of confusion for a sudden embrace is for is forbidden. Come on, no harm, no foul, right? Is everyone okay? Y yeah. Why does she have a pair of scissors in her hand? Who, who, who are you? I am Spirit World Investigator Sachi, and I have come to illuminate the darkness of the Netherworld with the light of reason. Why does she have a pair of scissors? Have no fear. I am a champion of justice. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You expect us to believe you're a champion of justice with those scissors in your hands? I concur. No matter how you look at it, she seems every bit the villain. Alright. It, what, what the? A monster out of nowhere. And it's going bonkers. <laughs> this is because we complained about Sachi's entrance, isn't it? Through their ritual, the students had summoned Spirit World Investigator Sachi. And she wasted no time beginning her investigation, utilizing the services of Azusa and Ron as her assistants. So this is the victim. That's correct. No witnesses have come forward. And as far as we can tell, no material evidence has been left behind. We suspect the culprit to be the fastidious type. Mm. So, am I just supposed to stay here like this the whole time? Actually, what am I even doing? This is an evil spirit who kills people whenever she wants to. Uh, well, looks like we're gonna have to save. Okay, let's save here. That's our first choice. Um, let us 
follow the script. I think it'll be fine. Hopefully. I think it'll be fine. No, I can't act up now. She's in a good mood. And if I broke her out of that, it's entirely possible she'd just up and kill us all. I guess for now, I'll just keep on lying here. When a man's voice has gone, one must listen for whatever voice remains. Huh? Look, at his fingers. He's written a W in his blood. Whoa, that's amazing. I didn't notice. I didn't notice that at all. It's the most basic of basic tools at the victim's disposal. And typically, when one writes in his own blood, people tend to notice it. Yeah, that's my Naho. Way more pers perceptive than the average schoolgirl. Nothing to it, in this case. It's just rare for any incident like this to actually have blood lettering left behind at the crime scene. Almost never happens. These are the last words of the deceased, his dying message. His dying message was a W. But what could it mean? Everyone, gather in the classroom, please. I believe I've pieced together the chain of events that led our victim to his path to the underworld. And so, everyone present, everyone present, gather in the nearby classroom, whereupon Sachiko revealed what she had deduced. What's this all about? Why have you brought us all here, or all together? Don't tell me, you know who did it. Who in the world was it? Please tell us. Calm down, everyone. We have indeed determined the culprit by way of the victim's dying message. If you would, please, Spirit World Investigator Sachi, speak the name of the killer in dramatic fashion. Gladly. The killer was... You, Nana. Huh? What? Me? You're telling us it was Nana? I see. The person who discovered the body is indeed a person of considerable interest. Now, now just hold on a minute. Why me? Elementary. Of all the people involved in this case, you are the only one with a W in your name. Nana Okasawara. Or I should say, Nana Okasawara. Seriously? If you wanted to indicate my name using the English alphabet, wouldn't you normally use the first letter of it? Oh, 
Ah, but there are other others present with O or N in their name. That, I believe, is why he went with W. I can't imagine a dying man is going to put that much thought into it. Hmm. You know, that's a good point. Hey, everybody makes mistakes. Even master detectives. Well, it's certainly rare for a master detective to overrun her own accusations as quickly. I'll need some time to reach a new conclusion. Until then, everybody's dismissed. What? Why were we all gathered together in the first place then? With her keen intellect, Sachiko quickly realized the flaw in her initial conclusion and returned to the hallway to continue her investigation. So the W wasn't pointing to Nana. Sachi, do you have any idea who the culprit might be? Sachiko remained quiet for a moment, seemingly contemplating the question, but then, with a face that seemed to say, Eureka! A realization dawned. I know. I figured it out. I was mistaken about the meaning of the W all along. You know who did it then? Yeah. Azusa, Ron, gather everyone in the classroom. What's this all about? Why have you brought us all together? Don't tell me. You know who did it. Oh my gosh, are they repeating their lines? Who in the world was it? Please tell us. Calm down, everyone. Sachi has indeed uncovered the meaning of the dying message for real this time. Now, if you please, reveal to us the solution. Sure. But first, I need you all to turn up your shirt tails and show me your waist. What? Huh? What? What? Why exactly? Because the victim's dying message, the W he left behind, must stand for waste. It is my judgment that the culprit must have an incriminating mark on his or her waist, like a scratch. Huh. I see. It is very common in, mis in mysteries for the assailant to have incurred an injury during the sh scuffle, and I try hiding it afterward. But, I mean, showing my waist in front of Morishige? I understand. I'll go over there so I'm out of sight, and you can call me when you're done. Um, you don't have to go anywhere. I think it's fine if you just... Turn around. And 
And maybe the rest of us can form a circle around whoever's being examined so no one else can see. Okay, that sounds fine. Wait. Everyone else seemed totally okay with this plan, but Nari wore a doubtful expression on her face. It just didn't seem to sit well with her. <laughs> Caught with your tail between your legs. The murderer is you, Nari. No, no, wait. I didn't do it. Your hesitance just now was all the proof I needed. That wasn't... Nari, it can't be, can it? There's no way. There's no way she could have done it. As she, as she said this, however, Nana grabbed Nari's shoulders from below, locking her arms in place to render her more and more prone. Or more and more... Her mo wait. Render her more or less prone. Chihaya, I've got her. Go get what sh go get what we talked about quickly. Okay. Chihaya took off running. Chihaya? What? Chihaya? When she returned, Chihaya was holding in her hands a tape measure. What are they? What are they doing? Nari, I'm going to need you to hold still for just a moment. And Moshige, you look away. S certainly. No, no, Nana, Chihaya, please let me go. I'm sorry, Nari. We'll be gentle, though. I promise. Yeah! No! The fuck is going on? I got the waist measurement. Oh, my bad. Put on some pounds like I thought. Even though you promised me, Nari. It's not me. It's the sweets. I have a weakness. It's because sweet and delicious things exist in this world. And suddenly, it connects back to the trailer? I understand all too well. No matter how much I try to cut back on sweets, it's never that easy. I always cave. More than just a tool for polishing one's beauty, diets are a road one must not deviate from on principle. One cannot become a model of womanhood if one is tempted to the dark side of the siren song of sweets. Incidentally, uh, incidentally, were there any markings on her waist to indicate some involvement in the crime? No, not at all. I don't think Nari would ever do something like that either. See for yourself. Her innocence lie bare before you. He, Nana, don't just pull up a person's shirt tails. Hmm. Hmm. Nope. There really aren't any injuries or anything. 
Hey, Morishige, you show your waist too. I am most assuredly not the perpetrator of this crime, so I fail to see what this will prove, but I have nothing to hide. Here. The others all lined up and exposed their ways one by one, and not a single person displayed any markings that might indicate guilt. Sachi, what does this mean? Hey, everybody makes mistakes, even master detectives. Oh my gosh, did I choose a bad ending or the bad choice? I feel like this is just a bad choice. Because I feel like we're, we're just repeating everything. Repeating the same things. So your deduction was off. Again. You all, shoo. Get out of here. <sighs> mm. She's rather demanding. Having concluded that Nari was not the murderer, Sachiko returned to the scene of the crime to look for further clues. So it wasn't Nari, then who was it? Seriously, how the hell do I have how long how the hell long do I have to lie still and play dead? Master Detective, my ass. What part of this denotes mastery of anything? My patience is really starting to wear thin. Ooh. Another choice. Hold on. Uh, we're gonna save here. Let's see. Follow the script, no choice but to follow the script. Defy the script. Wait. These two are basically the same thing. Just this this one. Just makes it sound like he has you know, he can't do anything else but to. But they're basically the same thing. Follow the script, no choice but to follow the script. Defy the script. I would say no choice. Whatever. No, if I pick a, if I pick a fight with Sachiko now, all the prog progress we've made so far will be in vain. Just gotta grit and bear it. Just take it like a man. If Sachiko is satisfied. Maybe she'll even let us go back to our own world. Sachi, who's the real culprit? You seem torn. There's no need to worry. This time for sure, I'll unmask our murderer. Um, sorry. Um, the culprit is. Oh my god, Ron, why you gotta be so annoying? Come on, hurry up and find out who did this. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Shut up. Do you want to get killed? S sorry, I'll be good. Oh, 
Oh, I've got it. I figured it out. The problem is, when I identified the victim's dying message as a W, I was mistaken. Is she gonna say it's an M? I swear to God, if she says an is an M. You were? What? It wasn't a W because it wasn't even English. The victim was Japanese, so he was trying to write in Japanese. What? And so everyone was once again gathered in the classroom. What's this all about? Why have you brought us all together? Don't tell me. You know who did it. Who in the world was it? Please tell us. I'm not hearing a lot of can-do spirit in your voices. Well, this is the third time we've done this. Everyone's getting pretty tired of it by now. Tired of it, huh? Well, this time, I've got the solution locked down. No more mistakes. What I thought was a W was actually a Japanese character that our victim was unable to finish writing properly before he died. What? So his dying message wasn't the letter W. It was a kanji for mountain, Yama. What? And in this room, only one person's name begin with Yama. Ergo, the culprit is you, Chihaya. Chihaya Yamase. What? To think, Yamase could be capable of such an act. Can't always judge people by their looks. Okay, people, it's a rest in time. But wait, please. What is it, Chihaya? Trying to make excuses, are you? No, it's just... If you think about it, the proper stroke order for writing Yama, there's no way you'd accidentally write a W instead. They're too different. Chihaya, tell me. What is the proper stroke order for the kanji yama? You start by drawing the vertical line in the middle, then you draw the left and right sides afterward. Investigator Sachi, how old are you? Seven. So you're at least in first grade. You should have learned how to write Yama by now. Alright everyone, let's disperse once more, nice and orderly. Now, knowing Chihaya couldn't be the culprit either, Sachiko returned to the body and took stock of the fact that the facts at hand. If Chihaya is not the murderer, then who is? 
It'd be really nice if you identified the true culprit right about now, you know. I, I know, I know. And this time, I will, for sure. So, I not in fact, I've concluded that while the victim's dying message wasn't Yama, it also wasn't a W. As you can see, this isn't a W, but rather, when you look at it from another from the other direction, it's an M. My god, I knew that was gonna come. Based on the hint that Nana gave me before, I know that when you're writing a name using the English alphabet, you sort it by the first letter. Sort it by the first, yeah. And the only person with M as the first letter is. Morshige. Azusa, Ran, gather everybody together. You think you actually have it this time? You've been summoned again. It was kind of inedible, inevitable you would be. I'm getting really tired of this. Me too. Hmm. 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 I have finally determined the identity of the true culprit. And it was you, Morishige. No. <laughs> <laughs> Or deduced, I must say. Why did you kill Kishinuma? He... He doodled in my Japanese history textbook. He had to be punished. Another random callback to the trailer? I mean, I had my suspicions about him when he was taking photographs of the body. Who does that? I always thought of Kishinuma as my best friend, and yet... He defaced Xavier with such an ungodly amount of facial hair. How in the world did it come to this, though? I see now that it was nothing worth getting so angry about. So sorry, Kishinuma. Even if I did always find myself irritated by your wild, unrefined, insensitive nature, and your ability to get under basically anyone's skin. Yoshiki considered putting this whole ordeal to an end right there. As soon as he heard Morshige's confession. But he knew Sachiko wasn't yet ready to call it, so he decided, with significant difficulty, just to grin and bear a little longer. What a sad story. But something still doesn't seem right somehow. I hate to be the bearer of bad news, Sachi, but the reason something doesn't but the reason something doesn't seem right is because Sakutaro has an alibi. At the time when the murder 
is thought to have occurred, he was witnessed rehearsing in the gym. So Morishige is not the culprit? Then who was he trying to protect with his lies? What? So your deduction still isn't right? <laughs> Yeet! Forgive me, please. Ah, <sighs> this really is getting to be a pain, though. Maybe I should just kill everybody after all. That, that's not a very detective like thing to say. Yes. Yes, Sachiko, yes. Show me a spectacular dance of death unlike any I've ever seen before. Show me that wondrous glint of life as it's extinguished. Please calm down, Sachi. That won't solve anything. You're an investigator, no? I guess. Killing everyone would be the easiest solution. But I'll think it over a little more first. Aha! I got it! There's one other person whose name begins with M. And that's our murderer. Someone else with an M name? I'm not so sure about this. All my mistaken ID so far has been acting. Just acting. To highlight what a difficult case this is and heighten the drama. Wait, are you talking about Maya? Or Mayu? Not Maya. Mayu. If you say so. So I'm, I know I've got it right. How many, how many this times does she need? All I've been doing is lying here, but I've even grown tired of that. Besides, just leaving a dead body plopped on the ground this long is stupid. Wouldn't you normally call the cops and tape it off as a crime scene? I filled my role and then some, but god damn it, a man's got his limits, and mine has been pushed farther than they've ever been pushed before. Ooh. We got another choice. Let's save. Follow the script, abide the script, give in to the script. So they're all the same thing. Well, the first three are the same thing, and then the last one's just defy the script. Huh. Excuse me. Let's see. I wonder if, like, just choosing to follow the script is gonna just end. Just keep, like, if we keep choosing to follow the script, like, any of the choices that says to follow the script will just end, like, you know, end up with us dying. And just with us with a bad end. Hmm.
I'll just say give in to the script. <laughs> I'm just making Yoshiki suffer. Her, no, not yet. To bear this pain just a little longer. If this is all it takes to make a, make me break, what kind of man would I be? I'm better than that. Well, now all the mysteries have been solved. Except for a true criminal whose name begins with M. Mayu. Mayu, yep, I knew it. I knew it. You know, freaking call on the narrator. Oh, what the fuck? What? <laughs> well, reason. That's correct. I am the true corporate, the, the culprit of this crime. What? How is she the murderer? She isn't even in the cast of characters, is she? In point of fact, in point of fact, you've all learned nothing whatsoever of my character all this time. But I've been by your side since scene one. You see, this is what they call a narrative trick. It, is that even a real thing? Thank you, Shig, for trying to take the rap in my place. It made me very happy to see you do that. But if you were able, but if you were to be labeled to wait, I got. But if you were to be labeled the criminal here and punished accordingly, I don't think I'd be able to bear it. Mayu, why did you kill Kishinuma? Kishinuma, Shig, and I have been friends since the beginning, and I thought we were all—we always would be. Until the love triangle came to be, anyway. Love triangle? You don't mean Sir Knight and Sakatoro were both fighting over you? No, I think Mayu and I think they're gonna say Mayu and uh, Yoshiki are fighting over uh, Morishige. Hmm? Now this is a, this is an interesting development. No, that's not it. Then what? I was in love with Shig. I'll admit it. Yet. One day, I saw it. The two of them walking together being very... friendly. <laughs> hmm? Hey, Shig Bro, is that you? Wait. Uh, don't you think you're staying a little too close to me? What other choice do I have? Without my glasses, I can't see, remember? If I don't stay right by your side, I won't know where I'm walking. It doesn't mean you have to freaking fill me up. It's weird. I can feel your body heat. 
Where are his glasses anyway? Don't worry, it's just as uncomfortable for me. But put it out of your mind and focus on not bumping into anything, please. What? What? Why are you and Kishinuma walking arm in arm? It... It can't be. I didn't see a thing, I swear. Kishinuma and Shig look so playful together. Like they were saying, ahaha, <laughs> this guy. Like they were lovers. <laughs> hey! The hell you, kind of nasty scenario are you imagining? I could just tell that those two have done it. <laughs> what the fuck? Whoa now! There's no goddamn way! You're wrong, Mayu. That was a misunderstanding. How could you ever expect that Kishinuma and I were lovers? That's preposterous. I've always treasured you more, far more than him, Mayu. So that's what happened. A sorrowful tragedy played out as three souls were led astray by happenstance. I'm so sorry, Kishinuma. Sachiko wa reikai tante. Takusan no rei o mite kita wa. I, Sachiko. I'm a spirit world investigator. Many spirits have crossed my path. But among them, the most fearsome is man or something. <laughs> that, that's not an acceptable conclusion. Is this really how it's going to end? I don't get it at all. So it turned out to be a crime of passion, I guess. Yeah, it's all a little... Uh... Why is Hachiko staying so quiet? Was that actually seriously the end? Tell me. She, is she waiting for applause? Uh oh. Nobody knows how the hell to react. Oh, he's clapping. Is he crying from this and actually clapping? <laughs> well, I guess he's always crying because he has like black stuff coming out of his eyes. But I mean, like he actually is feeling, you know, the sadness of the play. <laughs> Monster in the audience is crying and clapping. Everyone, come on. Keep clapping. Clap, damn it. Yeah. 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 Applause. Applause.
Thank you. Thank you all. How the hell long am I supposed to just stay like this? <laughs> I mean, are we done now? Okay, hold on. We're gonna save again. Say, follow the script. Follow the script? Might as well follow the damn script. Pretty much have to follow the damn script. Defy the script. What the fuck is going on? I mean, the play is over, right? I'm, like, really curious on, like... I really want to do the fight the script now. But is it over? I mean, they all clapped. And she did say thank you to everyone in the audience. So the play's got to be over now, right? Okay, I'm going to defy the script this time. I did save, so if something happens, then we'll just go back and um, <laughs> see what happens. Oh, wait, I guess it wasn't over. Yoshiki slowly and calmly stood up, then took an aggressive stance before Sachiko. <laughs> I do not accept this dumbass outcome. Okay, I guess it wasn't over. I think I made I think I made a wrong decision. Sure, you were having a grand old time. Meanwhile, I was sprawled out on the floor watching dust settle. What the hell kind of role was that? Sooner or later, even master detectives have to clean up the damn body. Kishinuma, do you have complaints about my play? I do! Tons of them! Pretty much from cover to cover. As Yoshiki drew closer and closer to Shichiko, Satoshi made his way onto the stage and pinned his arms uh, pin his arms behind his back. C calm down, Yoshiki. No. No, 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 no. We are well past calm here. Let go of me, Satoshi. Just a little longer, man. Just a little longer. Just stay put and don't try anything funny. Yumi was also calling out to Yoshiki from off stage now. Kishinuma, it's over! So man up and just accept the role you were given! You're acting like a spoiled brat! <laughs> Damn it! Fine! Fucking do it! Just get off of me! Defying every instinct in his soul, Yoshiki reluctantly got back down on the ground and sp and splayed himself out, reverting to his corpse role. There, you happy now? Really now, Kishinuma, you have such a short fuse. If you make too much of a fuss, though, I might just kill you for real. <laughs> And so ends the tale of Spirit World Investigator Sachi. Thank you all for your captive attendance. Please be certain to check your seats for any missing belongings as you file out of the theater. As Mayu finished her narration, the curtains close on this disastrous, a disastrous production. Not
I do not accept that ending. Oh no, someone else is pissed. The voice came from the audience seating. It was Naho Sainoki, who suddenly shot to her feet. She was now approaching the stage. The story was just too nonsensical. There are rules for mystery writing, established by visionaries in the fields such as Knox and Van Dyne. Van Dyne? What did you hope to accomplish by ignoring them? With such a shallow payoff, no less. No, get a hold of yourself. Say out of this, Sayaka. What, you have a problem with my play? You want to die? Ooh, things are getting... Shit's going down. Hmm. I figured I'd eventually have to settle things with you. It might as well be now. By the light of the seven stars, I hereby condemn you. <laughs> Look at the amateur spiritual medium, acting like she can take me. The others instinctively move a fair distance away from Naho and Sachiko, not wanting to get caught up in what looked like it could be it could get quite ugly. Okay, why why is there happy music playing when like an intense moment's happening? Seem we've got a fight between an evil spirit and a spiritual medium on our hands. I think we're safe to leave them be. We fulfilled our obligations by putting on the play for Sachiko. You have no stake in this battle. My, and I seem to recall you just saying something about never cutting corners and always giving 100 120%. What of that credo now? It ends with a play. Though I will say, it was a rather exhilarating feeling to indulge in play acting again. It's been some time. Hmm. So that's all this was to you. An indulgence? Indeed. Shig, I was really happy to see you act. It really has been some time. So, so Arigato, Mayu. You, you were? Thank you, Mayu. Why are you thanking me? Because it's thanks to you, uh, thanks to you pushing me into joining the drama club with you that I remembered how much I love play acting. For enough for that, I likely would have wallowed or wall yeah wallowed in self pity and done nothing at all. And turned out to be a shallow shell of a human. Hope that I'll continue to play act with you by my side for a long time to come. Wow, now that's what I call true romance. Good for you, Mayu. You two should start going out already. What? Don't say that. It's not like that. <laughs> Such pure love. 
I really envy in a sense like that. So, with this, Sachiko's birthday party is at an end, no? I suggest we take our leave of this auditorium before her former self re resurfaces. I don't... Yeah, that sounds good. Is this really the end? Oh, hold on, hold on a minute, everybody. Huh? Did she, Did she see us try to leave? This can't be good. That play was really fun. So now I want to do a romantic comedy just like it. Oh my god. You still want to perform? <laughs> Am I just supposed to stay like this forever? <laughs> he's just- he's still lying there! <laughs> Stranger in the Spotlight. All right, we got that chapter done. Sweet. Chapter two, clear. Hell yeah. Chapter three, Trans Bomb Shelter Ultra Quiz. Hmm. Achievement unlocked. The, the plays the thing. Huh. I don't know what that means, but okay. <laughs> we got an achievement, we finished chapter two. So now we are on chapter three. Trans Bomb Shelter Ultra Quiz. I wonder what that means. Well, let's get this one started. <laughs> Guess what? I've come up with a quiz for you to take today. You all like quizzes, right? Sachiko looked out over the gathered crowd with a great big smile on her face. We didn't really know how to react. Most of us just forced a smile and averted our eyes so as not to meet her gaze and give away our nervous uncertainty. Sorry. A quiz created by Sachiko somehow. Doesn't feel like it could end well. I'm sure everyone else must be thinking the same thing too, right? When no one responded to the question, Sachiko took a slightly despondent air. Could it be that none of you like quizzes? And here I thought kids today were all fans of Is that your final answer? And your shoot down And all that That was it <laughs> Those are so old also, your shoot down is a reference to a Japanese show uh, slogan that our English speaking fans probably won't know. Uh, good thing they point that out. <laughs> the young girl who interjected was being verbally shushed by another girl who. Uh, the, the, my god. Uh, the young girl who inter interjected was being verbally shushed. By another girl of roughly the same age standing next to her. It was clearly fruitless to do so, however, as Ichigo has, had obviously heard her, 
and meekly responded to this interruption with a dejected tone. What do you mean it's old? I even asked the blue and red spirits around here what quiz shows are popular with today's youth. Well, duh. If you ask dead people what's popular now, you're not going to get the most up-to-date information. So what kind of quiz shows are popular now? That's easy. Junior and senior high quiz all the way. I don't think you can really call that popular either though. Now the other girls getting involved too. Okay, Yukes. What quiz shows would you say are popular right now then? Huh? Uh, well. Uh, I don't actually like quiz shows, so I don't know what's popular. <laughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> That's my dumb old yukes. Come on. If you don't know, then don't interrupt. It was obvious anger in Sachiko's voice, and as she shouted this, the windows in the room rattled dramatically. It really seemed for a moment like the windows would break and rain glass down on, on the two girls. The boy who cried out ran over to them and threw his arms up to shield them from injury in case they did, and I found myself speaking up for some reason. I... I like them. Hmm? Sayaka, keep quiet or you'll get put into this whole mess. I... I... I know that. But those two girls... Because Sayaka, what is it you like exactly? Sachiko darted over and positioned herself between me and Naho. She was beaming. I slowly swallowed a lump in my throat and cautiously responded to her question. Um, quizzes in general. I like pretty much all of them. Even the two I listed that aren't popular anymore? Oh, yeah, I love those. <laughs> really? Yay! <laughs> Good, she's not angry anymore. My goodness, I never realized you were a quiz maniac, Sayaka. Sorry. To think your beloved childhood friend could still discover new things about you after 17 years. I'm shocked. Beloved childhood friend, my ass. Also, how the hell did you get back here and why? Our hearts beat as one. We are beloved as can be. God. I am still wondering why and how we got back. If we got, you know, sent back home to the real world. With all the time we spent together, it's amazing to think there could be 
any mysteries left about you, my dear. Oh, it gives me such butterflies. Gross. And did you even hear a word I said? How the hell did you wind up back here? Sorry. What's the matter, Sayaka? You're sorry you're staring at me with such fire in your eyes. Could it be you've fallen for me all over again? I may as well be beating my head against a brick wall. I just want him gone. Oh my god, did he? Okay. I feel like he either... He either... Did the, the ritual again? By himself? Or he used those stones from uh, Blood Drive and came back. Because, yeah, he definitely got sent back. So I don't know. How we got back here. Hmm? I definitely sent you back to your own world, Inomaru. How are you back here again? <laughs> For the one I love, I will be reborn as many times as it takes. I am like a phoenix. God, you suck. So sorry to have returned without you, Sayaka. Were you lonely without me? No, I was glad to have you out of my hair, you damn mutt. How are you this dense? Alright, what did you do with that outfit you were wearing? Did you burn it like I asked? Well, I folded it I folded it neatly and put it away in my dresser, of course. You didn't want it anymore, so I figured... Be gone, foul creature! Oh. Damn. <laughs> I think that's enough for now, Sayaka. Yeah. I feel like I've wasted far too much energy on this pathetic excuse for a human being. In some ways, I kind of envy him. You don't often see people who are that open about their feelings. Yeah, even I could learn a thing or two from him. Huh? Uh, I mean, that's kind of not like you, Shinozaki. Is it? Maybe not. Ah, uh, damn it. Everybody's hearing all of this. Okay, that's it. From here on out, from here on out, I forbid ignoring the topic at hand to discuss your own thing. Oh, right. Sorry about that. It's okay. I'm feeling super duper kind today, so I'll forgive you just this once. Thank you. Sayaka, you mustn't believe her. She'll try to take advantage. You think? Yeah, of course. Okay, I'll be careful. So Sayaka, you like my quiz idea? In that case, I'll make you one of my one of the quiz participants. 
Okay. Thanks. Sachiko, Onei-chan no koto kini itchata. Dakara hoka no zankasha wa Onei-chan to naka ga ii hito tachi wa eranda ageru. I like you, big sis. You, uh, wait. I like you, big sis. So you know what? I'll make sure the other participants all are all people you get along with. Really? Uh huh. Which means the first pick is Naho, of course. Naho, we're together. That's great. I really didn't want us to be torn apart again. Next up, your beloved childhood friend, Inomaru. Yes, Saiga, I'm on your team too. <laughs> hey, why aren't you saying anything? Oh, I forgot she was here. Too. If these three if these three are members, am I to assume that I'll be next? Bingo! Aiko, you'll participate too, but you'll still serve as my assistant at the same time. Is it your B day? It's mine too. No, it's not my birthday. My birthday is on the 19th. So, uh, we're doing... I'm doing a countdown stream to my birthday. But it's not my birthday today. But happy birthday to you. And welcome to the stream. How are you doing? Sorry, I thought I said birthday stream on your title. No. No, it's a countdown. Countdown to my birthday. But yeah, my birthday is on the 19th. Tom, thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. Welcome to the crew. And thank you for the hydrate. <laughs> this is starting to get interesting now. I believe I'll be able to have a lot more fun here. In many ways. How are you doing today? Are you doing anything for your birthday? Happy birthday till the 19th. I might not be on then. It's fine. I appreciate the early happy birthday though. And I wish you a happy birthday today. Do you have any plans for your birthday? So you heard our host. Naho, Sayaka, and Haruyuki. I look forward to working with you all. You had a party already? Really? You're not gonna have like a party throughout the whole day and just end it like in the afternoon? Uh. No need for necessities with her, Saika. Best not to let your guard down around spirits or Aiko. It's night time for me? Oh, it is. So you. Oh, okay. So you don't live in the US. Sorry. So you live in a different country. I got you. I got you. Yeah, because it's like 4 30 p.m. for me in the States. So it's like the afternoon right now. So I got you. So that means you. You celebrated the whole day. Got you. No, you live in the UK? Cool. Cool. That's awesome. I hope you had a fun uh, fun party. I know it's not like... I know since, you know, the pandemic is going on and, you know... You can't really do much, you know, to celebrate. But I hope you had a good time. Oh my. Seems I too have been shunned. How sad. 
You don't seem sad. You actually seem like you are enjoying yourself. By the way, no offense. If you don't like them. But I got a Xbox Series X. Let's go. You got a Series X? That's freaking awesome. I I actually... I love the consoles no matter which one. I'm not, I'm not the one to like bash on whichever console because right now pers right now i have a pc i have a gaming pc an xbox one and a ps4 and i do plan on getting the series x and a ps5 at some point just not right now mainly because i don't have the money for it and uh mainly and also another main reason is because i'm trying to focus on trying to upgrade my gaming computer because it's a pretty pretty outdated right now so yeah i i like playing games on all platforms but my main my main platform of gaming is on pc because that's where all my friends mostly play on but i do have you know i do have a ps4 and an xbox one to play games on as well in case in case like some games that are that my pc can't run on like you know there, there are going to be some games that my PC can't play and stream at the same time. So I get the game on console so I can, you know, play it smoothly on stream. But, I mean, either way, I, I like all platforms of games. Because another, another thing is, there are some games, there are some exclusives on consoles that you're not, you won't, probably won't get on PC or, you know, on, you know, Xbox or on PS4, respectively. But, yeah, I'm not, I'm not... I'm not the one, to, I'm not the type of person that's going to bash on whichever console is better. I like all consoles. Oh, and I also have a Nintendo Switch, so. Yeah, so I don't, I don't, yeah, I don't, I don't bash on consoles. I like all platforms. Uh, I'm not a console warrior? Yeah, I'm not, I'm not, yeah. You have to say goodbye to your PS4? Why? Why, you, why not keep it? You don't have to say goodbye to it. You can just keep it. Unless, like... Like, you can just... Pack it up and, like, put it away. You don't have to say goodbye to it, right? Ooh, excuse me. <laughs> Wait. So you went from PS4 to an Xbox Series X. Usually people go... Like, they stay on the console that they... That they had and upgraded to the next console so why not why didn't you get a ps5 because there are some games on the ps4 that are backwards compatible or you, that you can upgrade to the ps5 you don't seem sad you actually seem like you're enjoying yourself. Finally, Taguchi is going to participate in this quiz too. Oh, the camera guy. What? Me? Naho? Did I just hear you say ge? Damn. Yeah, see if you're going to if you're on our team, our chances of getting through this are considerably lower. So, what, what do you mean by that? I mean that if I could, I would refuse your inclusion outright. <laughs> No, that's so mean. Sachiko, is it possible for us to reject your participant selections? No way. Everybody I picked absolutely has to take part. So, I see. How unfortunate. Okay, hold on just a second. Okay. 
You don't have to be that broken up about it. Cheer up, Naho. Just remember, we've got Inomaru on our team too, which is pretty much the worst for me. But I'll get through it somehow. Saika, you're being really mean too. <laughs> Don't take her too seriously, Taguchi. Uh, that's just how she hides her embarrassment. She doesn't mean it. Really? You think? Of course, Saika is often rather obstinate when it comes to her feelings in public. When it's just the two of us, however, she's all purrs and meows and rub, rub ups and snuggles. It's extremely cute. B B B B S snuggles? Don't go around telling people your awful fantasies if they're reality. As if they're reality, yeah. And with a shin. Ah, oh, my aching head. Sayaka, you really have an impressive kick. <laughs> Things have certainly gone boisterous on this team rather quickly, haven't they? They sure have. Now, allow me to introduce you introduce to you the final participant on your team. Drumroll, please. Ta-da! Kibiki, congratulations! You've been selected as a participant in my quiz! Who's Kibiki again? Oh, this guy. I remember this guy. How the fuck he- what? Where was he this whole time? Where the fuck was this guy the whole time? He wasn't here this whole time, and now he decides to appear again. I don't entirely know what's going on, but it seems participation is mandatory, so... <gasps> Kibiki? No. Kibiki? <gasps> No. Naho? Dear me. I thought I'd never see you again. Are you alright? Are you unharmed? I'm, I'm fine, and it's good to see you're okay too. Being able to meet you again like this is. It's. Good for you, Naho. Thanks. Naho actually had tears in her eyes. She was so happy to be reunited with Mr. Kibiki. In fact, so infec infectious? infectious was her happiness that I felt a smile of my own creeping onto my face. Naho must have been really, really worried about him. It's good to see you're safe as well, Taguchi. I got a bit worried when I lost sight of you during our initial expedition. Naho's apologies, Mr. Kibiki. I was so distracted by my surroundings, I lost my bearings completely. But it's wonderful to see you safe. Okay, so... You all prepared... 
you all yeah you all prepared to get moving okay hold on just a second Get moving. What are you? Ah! Is this a teleportation circle? Let's, Let's begin, shall we? Welcome to the Trans Bomb Shelter Ultra Quiz, where it's my way or the highway. Hope you all have a great time here. Another outdated Japanese game show reference? Don't get coy with me, Taguchi. We don't want to want that body of yours to be torn to shreds. I suggest you keep your mouth shut. Now I'm going to transport you all into the dark, cramped underground bomb shelter where you're free to move around at will and have all kinds of fun. Okay, so. So the, I'm assuming this chapter is going to be all about these. This group of people. Um. Like the ghost invest investigation group that um that we met in um i believe in uh in book of shadows so what, what happened to the other students and the other people that got transported here do they are they not part of this or are they are, are they somewhere else because i'm sure the other the other the other students and teacher miss, miss yui i guess um are also feeling the shaking, aren't they? And they're not really saying anything about it? And there they go. Oh, my bottom. Alright, Sayaka. If you want, I can attach healing talismans to it. With all due embarrassment, of course. How about you just die? I caught the faintest sight of Sayaka's showy punch to Inamaru in my peripheral vision and breathed the tiniest sigh of relief. Good. I was afraid we might have gone separated again. That was quite a violent landing. Now the question is, where are we? Naho, do you have any idea? I'm afraid not. It doesn't look familiar to me at all. I feel like I've seen this background before in Book of Shadows. Oh, I know this place. Oh, do you? Yeah. Oh. Sorry. Yeah, when Nao and I did the charm, this is where I was when I woke up. Without a doubt. So this is where your heavenly host experience began then. Yeah. 
ずいぶん薄暗いなこんなところにさゆかはああかわいそうに怖かっただろうねそこうみだんへえ This is where you were, Sayaka? Oh, you poor thing. Must have been so scared. Sa, Nagasamete Agirio, Sayaka. Ore no de no naka ni tobicon de oide. Please allow me to comfort you. Even to my bosom. Sineba i no ni. Or rather, you die. Sui saki mo najikoto, you are the king of Sayaka. I feel like you're just. I feel like you're repeating yourself now, Sayaka. Anata tachiwa aika waras na no ne. You two never change. Is it just us down here, though? We're keeping in Sachiko. Huh? Where? Taguchi, his back bearing. The print of my shoe loosely raised himself from the ground. He must have collapsed and been forgotten in the darkness the whole time we were talking. Oh, yeah, Taguchi is with us too. Forgot about him. Oof, come on. Getting cut down by that sharp tongue first thing after waking up is too much, Naho. Ow. What happened to my back? If Taguchi's here, then... Kibiki. Kibiki must be here somewhere, too. Is he not here? Spun around frantically searching for Kibiki, but there didn't seem to be any other places where someone could hide. Kibiki, Mr. Kibiki! I became concerned and called out to him, but received no reply. I could sense his presence either. I couldn't sense his presence either. A momentary rush of undiluted fear washed over me. Kibiki, where are you? God, no. Where did you go? Answer me, please. No, calm down. But Sayaka, finally had him back, and now he's go gone again. Wait, did I miss something? I think I missed that little box. It's alright, Naho. Sachiko said he was going to be participating in the quiz, so I'm certain we'll run into him again, or run into him somewhere. Maybe Sachiko just made a mistake when calculating where to send him. We should. Check the other rooms and see. Regrettably, I think that would be a fool's errand. What do you mean? A, pe a peculiar sheet of paper seemed to have found its way into my pocket at some point. Okay, and Sachiko chan kara no watashitachi ni taisuru shijisho te kaku ka shira. Sorry. I believe you could say it's a set of instructions for us. Jujutsu teki na chikara o kanjiru na. I'm sensing some supernatural energy from it. Eh, tada no kami ja nasa so yo. Yomu beki timing de ima yomeru koto dake ga ukabi agaru kami da te kaite aru mono. Indeed. This is no ordinary paper. It is em emblazoned? Yeah, emblazoned with eth ethereal text stating it's to be read at a specific moment. Then nothing. The moment is now. And then noting. Not nothing. Then noting. The moment is now. 
読むべきタイミングとして浮かび上がっていることは何 I see. And if the moment is now, what does it say? <laughs> you want to know? It's about your friend, Mr. Ko. <laughs> I was about to lose my temper. I could feel all the blood rushing to my head. This teasing was going too far. She had to be taught a lesson. <laughs> no, no. If you blow up at her, you'll just be giving her exactly what she wants. I know, but still. It tells me what to do in this situation, too. It says if she wants you to read this, you must char charge her ten times the usual information fee. Not that you have any trouble paying me. <laughs> Aside from the fact that you simply don't have that much money with you here. <laughs> Aiko, stop. Seriously, I'm getting angry. My. Well, don't stop on my account. You're always angry every time we meet. So I'm quite used to seeing you that way. <laughs> Dirty rotten. Time out, time out. Let's not fight amongst ourselves, people. Um, Niwa? What can I do for you? Mr. Kibiki is a very important person to both Naho and myself, so would you please stop teasing and read us what's written on the paper? Hmm, could it perhaps be said then, Mr. Shogo? That you and Naho are rivals who both seek to be the first to take Mr. Cole's hand? <laughs> Mr. Shogo? Come now. For such a young, cute girl to call a man by his first name like that, yet still a pen a mister, I'm flattered. This is neither the time nor place for flirting. And your upper lip has gone really big too. Give me the creeps. The, the creeps? Oh no. Also, Taguchi, if you're talking, if you're talking young and cute, you must be referring to Sayaka, not Niwa. You should correct your statement. Your flirtations are genuinely creepy. Forget all this nonsense. Taguchi isn't going to fight me to find Kibiki, so stop being stupid and read the damn note already. Oh my goodness. My, what a boring response. I wanted you to ride in agony a bit more, Naho, to hide the thrill of the competition. Now, with only an intense stare of seething anger and hatred, Aiko shrugged her shoulders very slightly. Oh well. Nope, oh, sorry. Oh well. I'll read it. Hurry. Yes, yes. Let's see here. 
Kibiki is the prize that you're playing for. I've got him for now. Sachiko. That's all it says. He's the prize? What does that mean? What I'm hearing is that whoever wins gets to keep him. I see. Alright then. Let's give it the old college try. What's got you in such high spirits all of a sudden, Taguchi? Uh, the fuck? He? What the? A monitor? Oh, it's the TV. Welcome one and all to the underground bomb shelter. I'm going to explain the rules of the game now, so please listen closely, okay? Kibiki, are you alright? Yes, I'm fine. I'm sorry though. When I woke up, I was like this. Not much use after all, am I? Just sit tight. I'll get you out of there. The hell do you think you're doing, Sachiko? You set him free right now. No way! Didn't you hear Aiko? Kibiki is your prize for winning my quiz. He's a person, not an object. If you want a prize giveaway, pick something else, damn it. Uh -uh. I'm going to do this my way. Like I said before, it's my way or the highway. Unless you have some complaint with the way I've chosen to do things. Naho, you should have provoked Sachiko. You're right. I'm sorry. I just got a little overwhelmed. I totally understand where you're coming from, Naho. Treating Mr. Kibiki as a prize is just unforgivable. Aren't you the one who just said he'd give it the old college try just a moment ago? Er. So if I'm, re if I'm understanding correctly, whoever scores first place in this quiz wins Mr. Kibiki? Bzz. Sorry. Bzz. <laughs> Bzz. Not quite. In my way or the highway, Transbomb Shelter Ultra Quiz, it's group actions that will net you the key. What do you mean? In this quiz, anyone can answer. Your score is shared among all of you. So the five of us are a team then. Uh huh. So you should all get along and try to answer every question together. And if you get enough points, you get the top Kibiki prize. And I'll even throw in something special. As a bonus prize, I'll make sure you all start in the same dimension tomorrow. <laughs> what? Are you saying... Uh, 
再開できるかもしれないってことよね。響き、再開、even Taguchi、we may all be able to reunite with one another tomorrow? What is everybody talking about? No way, you, you're serious, right? You're not just messing with us. I'm super duper nice today, so you can believe me, okay? Today is like a big party, after all. A big party, after all. So everybody do the best you can here. I will. We will. For sure. Isn't that right, Naho? You bet. If the two of us can reunite with Kibiki, we'll be able to get out of Heavenly Host for sure. <laughs> and Taguchi? Hello? Makes me a little nervous when you leave me out of that. Out of, leave me out like that. I really have no idea what you're what you're all talking about, but I'll do anything for Saika, so count me in. Yahoo! Sheesh, somebody sure is out of the loop. Probably better that way. There should be no need to involve him in all of this. Sachiko, may I ask you something? Sure, what is it? What happens if we don't get enough points to win? See, I feel that my presence here means we might all have trouble getting along as a team. You're admitting that on your own? I always try to look at things objectively. You know me well enough to know that it's true, Naho. No? Good question. If you don't get enough points, then... How about we just say I get to do whatever I want with Kibiki's body? Oh my. Oh my. What? First things first thing I'll do is tear off all the hair on his head. Strand by strand. And then, those traditional clothes have to go, so I'll tear those off too. Don't you dare. Those things are his identity, his trademarks. If you want to do that to him, then you'll have to go through me first. Afternoon stream. So, what did everyone that was brought back die again? What did everyone? No, they they didn't die. I don't think anyone. We're in a new chapter right now. Um, we're we're on chapter three, I think. Yeah, chapter three. But uh, no one no one died. So we did the play. In chapter 2, we finished the play, everyone survived, no one died, I guess. And now we're in chapter 3, and uh, we're about to do a quiz type show. So Chigo wanted us to do a quiz type show for her. And the prize is that man that's standing next to her on the television. And uh, I think we're th um, she's explaining the rules to the, to the quiz show and... Um, and telling us what happens if we lose. Well, how are you, Cody? How's your uh, how's your day going? Welcome to the stream. 
though. Kind of came at a bad time because I was about to end pretty soon here. It's alright, Naho. My hair will grow back, and I can always buy new clothes. There's no need to get upset. It's alright. There you go. Now I'll leave the program direction up to you, Aiko. I have my hands full keeping watch over Kibiki after all. Understood. I just need to follow what's on this paper, correct? Uh huh. And since the promise about tomorrow doesn't really apply to you and Inamaru, you can take it easy and have fun too. Anyway, bye bye. As abruptly as it appeared, the image of Kibiki disappeared. Hey, Psycho! I feel like I'm floating? What do you mean? A boat on the ocean? Huh? <laughs> you okay there, Psycho? Welcome to the stream, but um, I was just about to end here pretty soon. Things are going well, just finished an event in Genshin for a pet Sealy? Ooh, cool! That's awesome! Welcome. Uh, yeah. I'm lost on a road somewhere. What do you mean? <laughs> it felt as though someone dear had been hovering just out of reach, then got snatched away. A shiver ran down my spine. Stuck in my head? Song? Oh, are you talking about a song that's stuck in your head? <laughs> Are those words of a song? Yeah, I'm good, how are you? I'm doing well. We uh we are playing a corpse party for the uh for uh you know for the occasion of doing a countdown a one week countdown to my birthday on the nineteenth. So uh the reason why I chose to play this game because this game is also about a birthday. Um, so, yeah, it fits, it fits the, it fits the occasion. <laughs> but, yeah, I was just about to end here pretty soon. I have been going on for about two hours, so, yeah, I was gonna end here. Pretty, like, pretty soon. I was just gonna, I was gonna wait until they, uh, I was gonna wait until Sachiko was done explaining the rules to this quiz game that they're about to do here. Naho, everything's going to be okay. We've overcome worse than this before. We'll save him. But yeah, I hope, I hope you guys are having a good day. I hope you guys are having a, a good afternoon or evening or whatever time it is for you guys. <laughs> I guess it's almost about to be evening because uh, it looks like the sun's about to, or the sun's about to set over here. It does get darker early because it's winter time i'm sure i think that's what happens right i don't know uh with you and i together we can't lose right yeah saiga offered her hand to me and i grabbed it its warmth cut through me instantly snapping me back to sanity for the most part everything's going to be okay we can't lose I repeated Saiko's words back to myself several times, and just like that, the shaking stopped. I'm okay now. I've calmed down. I'm glad. <laughs> you two are such good friends. But I'm the one who's going steady with Sayaka. Yes, yes, we've heard all your... We've all heard your delusions. You know, Sayaka, you've really started adopting a lot of Sayanoki's speech patterns lately. 
クイズのルールについてもう少し詳しい説明をしたいのだけど。So are you all ready to begin? There are still a few details I'd like to explain regarding the rules of this quiz. これによると、商品をもらえる合計得点。つまり、こう先生を解放する条件は、right. 427点。So, so it looks like they are about to start the quiz game now, and、um, Aiko is about to explain the rules on the paper that they got or that she has. So we're gonna stop here, but we are definitely gonna continue this later tonight. As we are still doing our countdown, one week countdown streams throughout this week. So, yeah, I appreciate everyone coming by and hanging out. So, we are gonna save here.、Uh, let's see, let's save in this spot. Okay, so. Yeah, we are in chapter three now, so that's awesome.、Uh, we're, I don't think we're even halfway through the game yet, still. So we have quite a, quite a ways to go. I think there's, there's still like four more chapters to go. So hold on, let me, let me check real quick. So we're in chapter three, and we have, yeah, four. Or five more to go, I mean, I guess. So, yeah, we have five more chapters to go in this game, and then we'll be done. Hopefully, again, hopefully, we'll be, we'll finish this game by the, by my birthday or on my birthday, or if we finish this before my birthday, hopefully, then I'll think of something to do on my birthday for, I don't know, birthday type of stream. But, yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying, um, Enjoying Corpse Party, Sweet Sachiko's hysteric birthday bash so far. I am certainly enjoying it despite, you know, all the death and stuff. But it's still, the, this game is, is, um, is keeping that, keeping its word of all, you know, the lighthearted stuff, the comedic stuff. But there's still some death and some scary stuff to it. But I mean, I'm still enjoying it. I like the Corpse Party series. Again, I still need to finish Blood Drive at some point, but hope. But yeah, we'll, we'll definitely try to finish、uh, Suisa Chico's Hysteric Birthday Bash before my birthday. So, yeah. Again, everyone, thank you all for coming by, hanging out, and watching. I hope you guys did enjoy today's stream.、Uh, again, we will continue this later tonight. At 2 a.m. Eastern Time, usual time. And yeah, hope to see you guys there. But until then, everyone, have a great rest of your day or night, depending on what time it is for you. And I will see everyone either later tonight or tomorrow. Alright, guys. Bye.